Back to us at 7.30. Good morning. I'm Maddie Kurth on your Sunday today. Hannah Gard joins us now with your weather authority forecast. You know, we got some plans on this Sunday. We got to know what the weather is going to be. Yeah, if you're trying to get outside, it's looking great. We do have that summery pattern continuing today where we'll have plenty of blue skies in the morning and then we'll see some storms popping up once we get to the afternoon. But look how calm the waters are. Not much in the way of wind this morning. We are seeing a couple of showers along the coast. Most of those trying to climb toward Bell Chase right now, just some light rain. Homa, also you have a shower just to the south of you, and that's about all that we're seeing that's making it inland. Temperatures in the mid 70s in the inland areas, Homa, Hammond, 75, and then we're almost to 80 degrees in most places just south of the lake. You can see these little showers along the Gulf Coast popping up. We still have that southerly breeze coming from high pressure on the surface over here and southerly flow in the upper levels. It's coming from the southwest over Houston. That's why you're seeing those storms. But look at this counterclockwise spin up here. This low pressure system is in the upper levels and it's finally starting to pull to the north of us. So we do have a little lift to work with today. So we'll still see some storms. Once we get to the afternoon, a couple of them could have a lot of lightning with them. So that's what you'll need to watch for if you have outdoor plants. It'll help to keep the temperatures down slightly. We'll still see just those low 90s, not seeing anything too crazy with the high temperatures. But we've had plenty of rainfall this month, so the temperatures have stayed lower. We're almost five inches above where we're supposed to be for the month of July. We've had plenty of rain. We are going to enter a drier pattern. Notice today we still see some storms. The coverage is not as bad as it has been. We could see some rain come by on the North Shore in the evening, but not really storm activity. And the flow definitely changes tomorrow. Notice there's not as many clouds, especially in the upper levels. These storms are popping up along that lake and sea breeze. And same thing on Tuesday, the clouds even start to come from the north, which is a much drier flow than that southwest moisture conveyor belt that's been going on. So we're going to see a change, more sunshine, but with that, the heat is building. We still have that summer pattern though, so we could see a few storms each day, especially in the coastal areas, but they're going to be much fewer and far between than what we've been seeing. Water vapor, you can definitely see this swirl. Notice it's wrapping up and starting to move up towards St. Louis. It's moving over high pressure right here. That's this clockwise spin that's going to push it up and over to the east coast. As this high builds, we're going to see a lid put on that convection or storm activity and it's going to be a lot drier. Notice how large this high pressure system is by the end of the week. So temperatures will go from around normal, low 90s, to slightly above normal in the mid 90s through the end of the week and the rain chances where that high pressure is over to the west in the southern plains going to be very low, especially compared to where the low pressure is on the east coast. So we are going to have a much drier pattern. You can anticipate some more sunshine than what we've been seeing. In the tropics, we're seeing things starting initiating in the eastern Pacific. It's been really, really quiet and the Atlantic has also been quiet, but we're watching this wave in the main development region as it heads toward the Lesser Antilles. Notice they put a little bit of a northern turn here on this area that we're watching for that possible development. That's a change from earlier this morning. The reason for that is some steering, but I'll talk about that in a moment. We have a lot of Saharan dust that's going to start to clear out by the middle of the week. We'll still have some lingering dust, but right now that wave is battling wind shear and heavy dust activity. As it moves into that area of lower dust and a more conducive environment, we could see that tropical development near the Caribbean by midweek. Here's high pressure. That is what's going to steer that system. And we also are tracking the low over the East Coast. So that'll be the ultimate direction of this tropical system. And that's in the long term, the first week of August as we head into about the end of next week. Next weekend, we will be closely monitoring that. But right now, not an imminent threat to the northern Gulf Coast, just something to keep an eye on. We have a very summery pattern ahead where we're tapering off on the rain chances. So we don't mind that heat dome building too, because if that low pressure stays over the east coast, that is going to be a more favorable steering pattern in the tropics. Yeah, a shift in the skies is welcome, I think. People are getting tired of that dreary weather, constantly overcast. We want to enjoy the last little bit of our summer at least. Yeah, hopefully the kids can get out there before they go back to school. That's right. And you know what, Hannah, most of the schools in Jefferson Parish start in less than two weeks. So with that comes the added cost that can put stress on parents.
parents. Jacob Bradford has details on a free breakfast and lunch program that benefits more than just your wallet.